Now, if you were a fan of Tracy Beaker, then you'll be delighted to know she's back. And she's not alone this time. She is played by the same actor as in the original series. But when Tracy returns to our screens this afternoon, you'll be seeing she has grown into a 30-year-old woman and now has a daughter of her own. Let's take a look. And you never let me eat sweets. You whips my watching horror videos and your kitchen skunk on wet floor. And I never want to see you ever again. Tracy, welcome back. Tracy, Tracy, wait. Do you not want to hear the Michael Milligan Children's Home welcome speech? Not the way you say it, your pants. Oh, hang on. Mike, someone's put that stuff in my room. Look, uh, Tracy, you've been gone for three months. We thought you left us for good this time. This is my room. Whoever's in it can pack up that scratching stuff and clear off right now. <laughs> Swallowing the worm was easy, but keeping it down was impossible. I threw up <laughs> with the force of a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the worm? Oh, it was fine. I saw it in a patch of vomit and it just wriggled away. <laughs> And that is how I won the dare game. So I said to Justine Littlewood, you can just bog off! <laughs> so that was, you get the picture there. We showed a bit of the beginning from the original series, then we moved right up to date. We're joined now by the actor Danny Harmer, who played Tracy Beaker, of course. Good morning. And also Emma Maggie Davis, who plays her daughter Jess. Hello to both of you. Morning. So, um, Danny, <laughs> let's start with that. I mean, how much of... The, obviously, we're following the timeline here, and so we've got the early Tracy, and then we see the mum Tracy. Describe for us the change that's occurred between those two time periods. Well, lots changed, obviously. I think the last time we saw Tracy was about 10 years ago, uh, and in that time, she's had a kid, which is so cool. Um, so, yeah, it's been 20 years, I think, since we recorded the first ever series of Tracy Beaker. So to be able to bring her back now and see what an amazing mum she is, is a real joy. Now, we saw, we saw a shouty Tracy at the beginning there. How do you compare the, the mum adult Tracy with the character who, who first began? So Tracy's changed a lot, as you do when you become a parent, but she's still the same feisty, fierce character that we all know and love. Uh, it's just now she's just a little bit more grown up. OK, so Emma playing Jess, Tracy Beaker's daughter. How does Jess compare to, compare to the very feisty Tracy Beaker we saw all those years ago? Well, I guess Jess is a little bit different. She's kind of more into her book. She's very good in school. But definitely you can see that she's Tracy Beaker's daughter every now and then. Um, and tell me about um, the relationship between your character and Tracy Beaker's character. Oh, well, I mean, it's just such a lovely relationship. It's almost like mother-daughter friendship almost. But you can definitely tell that Tracy Beaker is the best mum ever. So, Emma, you're, you're, what, 11 years old now. So did yeah. you, I mean, when Tracy Beaker started, I mean, that was way before your time, wasn't it? Way before your time. Yeah. <laughs> so what did you know about the sort of origins of the whole thing? Did you watch much of it back? Uh, yes, because it did replay when I was around about, I think, maybe five or six. So I used to watch it with my brother when I came back from school. And how weird is that? I mean, you probably got over it now, but lo and behold, it's, you're in it. It's crazy. It's, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Danny, we should talk about the fact that Tracy Beaker is a single mum, is still feisty, and Jacqueline Wilson, who wrote this, was very determined to make sure that these stories are told and, you know, these perfect, happy families that people are, are, have previously been told to aspire to don't need to be. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously we all want Tracy to have that happy ending, but that doesn't make an interesting story, to be honest. And life is hard. It's really hard. Uh, and that's kind of what we want to portray. I suppose in a way, do you know, one, one of the things is, obviously, fictitious characters, people are interested in what's happened over the years and, you know, catching up with Tracy Beaker now. They're also kind of interested in you, I imagine, Danny, as well, a bit about, you know, how things been for you. Do you know what? They've been all right. Thank you so much for asking. Actually, people are more interested in Tracy than me, so it's quite nice to be asked. Um, yeah, I've um, I've been really lucky. I've gone on and done loads of really cool stuff, played some really interesting characters, and I had a daughter of my own as well, who's four now. 
Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. It's really interesting, isn't it? So how have you been juggling lockdown, Danny, as well, and acting and obviously the new restrictions? Yeah, it's been really tough. I mean, everyone in our industry knows that it's kind of vanished, it's disappeared, and it's so sad. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of been recording everything from my bedroom, which is really strange. I'm in a hotel at the moment. Um, and this is kind of life now. Everything's done over the camera. And I'm trying to juggle that whilst homeschooling. There is a reason why I never become a teacher. I'm an actor. I don't do this. It's so hard. You know what? I'm sure you're doing great. It's lovely to see you again. And uh, we should remind... Thank you both very much, by the way. Um, my mum, Tracy Thank Beaker, starts you. later today. That's on CBBC and the BBC iPlayer.